Hi, I'm Dr. Andy Thompson, and I'm a rheumatologist. Today, I'm going to talk about tocilizumab for the treatment of inflammatory arthritis. You can visit our website, www.roominfo.com, and print off one of our tocilizumab picta pamphlets to follow along with this video. Tocilizumab is also known as Actemra. Now, tocilizumab is given by an intravenous infusion once every four weeks. The infusions are given by a specially trained nurse at an infusion center. Now, some people can feel better quite quickly after starting tocilizumab, but for others, it can take a little longer. There are four things you need to do when taking tocilizumab. You should discuss these with your doctor. First, you should have regular blood tests when taking tocilizumab. This is important to make sure the medicine isn't affecting your liver, blood counts, or cholesterol levels. Second, don't get pregnant or breastfeed as tocilizumab hasn't been properly studied in pregnancy. Let your doctor know if you're planning to get pregnant or if you're breastfeeding. Third, tocilizumab can make it slightly harder for you to fight off infections. You should stop taking tocilizumab if you develop a fever, if you think you have an infection, or if you're given antibiotics to treat an infection. And finally, before starting tocilizumab, you should have a skin test and chest x-ray to make sure you've never had an infection called tuberculosis before. Tocilizumab can rarely cause an allergic reaction during the infusion. Now these reactions usually aren't severe and you'll be closely monitored by a trained nurse. Tocilizumab has rarely been associated with an injury to the bowel. Let your doctor know if you develop stomach pain during your treatment with tocilizumab. Medications like tocilizumab have rarely been associated with the development of cancer. So let your doctor know if you've had cancer before. Patients have very rarely developed conditions of the nervous system while taking tocilizumab. And finally, tocilizumab should be stopped before surgery. It can be restarted once things have healed and there's no sign of infection. So if you're having surgery, talk to your doctor about when to stop the medication. If you're receiving tocilizumab, you should call your doctor if you feel sick and want to stop, or if you're concerned about any side effects. For tocilizumab, there are a few other specific reasons to call your doctor. If you have a fever or think you have an infection, if you're planning surgery, if you're pregnant or planning to get pregnant, if you plan to get any vaccinations, or if you develop a rash. I hope you found this video to be useful. Now for more information, please refer to our website at www.roominfo.com.